This is Industry Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we analyze a different industry. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about the tobacco industry. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome to our new video. Today, we're exploring the controversial topic of smoking and the tobacco industry. From movies to music videos, ads and high fashion photo shoots, cigarettes have been a staple of our culture. Whether we're thinking of the cool rebel or the mysteriously aloof girl, we all seem to have a clear image in our heads about what smoking represents. This is no coincidence, since the billion dollar cigarette market has proved to be both resourceful and inventive when it comes up with ideas to keep people hooked on their products, despite the side effects. So, whether you're a smoker or not, stay with us until the end to get your facts fixed for today. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Here are 15 things you didn't know about the tobacco industry. Number 1. Tobacco can be grown everywhere. It's probably no news for most tobacco aficionados, but did you know that it can actually be grown anywhere? With the exception of the North and South Poles, any warm and moist environment is enough for the plants to thrive, which makes it really easy to produce in large quantities. So much so that the US alone, tobacco farms manage to manufacture 800 million pounds across 19 different states. What's more, farmers in North Carolina, Georgia, and Kentucky managed to produce a whopping 80% of that number. You can even find tutorials online for growing your own tobacco, which can be a rather interesting gardening activity if you're not into planting vegetables. Number 2. Marlboro is the number one cigarette brand since 1924. Cigarette brands are instantly recognizable even by non-smokers. It's partly because of advertising and partly because some of them have been around for many years. Actually, if you ask anyone to name a few brands off the top of their head, they're very likely to say Marlboro. This classic has been around for more than 100 years, and it's the number one cigarette brand in the world, with 282 billion cigarettes produced outside of the US and China in 2016. Its secret? Philip Morris actually used ammonia to create a very addictive type of cigarette, and competitors soon after followed suit. Number 3. Tobacco Causes Serious Environmental Damage Sure, smoking cigarettes may look cool when actors do it on screen, but in reality, it's very dangerous for you and the environment. Companies want to produce more and more, so countries that grow the plant actually cut forests to make room for tobacco agriculture. What's more, the plants soak up the good nutrients from the soil, and it takes a lot of harmful pesticides and fertilizers to nourish them. And if you think that throwing your cigarette butt away is not a big deal, think again. With 3 billion cigarettes produced every day, the negative impact is seriously underestimated. Number 4. Smoking is the main cause of death related to cancer and other diseases. Every time someone takes a puff, they actually put 7,000 chemicals into their lungs and around 69 carcinogens. For example, the chemical benzene is a cause of leukemia, and cigarettes have plenty of it. Actually, one in eight cancers are caused by smoking, and even secondhand smokers can suffer a lung cancer. In fact, a staggering 33,000 non smokers die of heart disease each year from smoke exposure. Another disease caused by smoking is tuberculosis, and the list goes on and on. A list of anti smoking campaigns cover the issue, trying to make people understand the risks they expose themselves to, but a potential health problem rarely stops anyone from enjoying their cigar. Number 5. Philip Morris International is the richest tobacco producer with a market capital of $176.2 billion. Cigarette companies generate a ton of revenue, but again, Philip Morris International tops all of those lists. Also, PMI doesn't just make Marlboros, but they own Virginia Slims, Parliament, L&M, and the lesser-known Basic or Commander, among many others. Founded in 1874 in London, Philip Morris started out with just one shop and today dominates the international cigarette market. They make around $7.8 billion per year in the form of profits, and the European Union is a big fan, being responsible for more than one-third of the company's total revenue. Their headquarters in New York and the present CEO, Andre Kalansopoulos, owns around 1% stake in the company. 
Number 6. Advertising Made Smoking Normal Advertising plays a huge role in shaping our daily habits, often normalizing certain behaviors. Sure, people have smoked before in the past, but 20th century advertising downright told people that smoking cigarettes is actually good for your health. What's more, ads glamorized cigarettes by creating this image of rebellion, confidence, independence, and freedom. For example, Marlboro Man and R.J. Reynolds' Old Joe Camel campaigns appealed directly to young people and represented the good old American dream. There have even been some initiatives to ban the glamorization of smoking in movies, music videos, different ads, and other media, but nothing too concrete ever came out of that initiative. Number 7. An orangutan was filmed smoking at a zoo. Smoking can be seen in a lot of places, but it's usually done by actual people. Well, it seems that animals can pick up the habit too, probably by imitation. A viral video of an orangutan smoking a cigarette at a zoo in Indonesia generated a lot of controversy. The 22-year-old orangutan, named Odin, was the center of attention to the seeming delight of visitors. The video shows someone throwing a lit cigarette in the animal's enclosure, who promptly picks it up and starts puffing away. Animal rights activists were downright furious, since this is not the first incident to call into Bandung Zoo's treatment of its animals. It actually closed temporarily in 2016 after an incident involving an elephant's alleged abuse and death. Number 8. Nicotine is as addictive as heroin or cocaine Sure, James Dean looked cool and Carrie Bradshaw was never seen coughing after smoking her pack a day. What the cool ads don't tell you is that nicotine can be as addictive as powerful drugs like heroin or cocaine. It usually starts with a person having just one cigarette per day and progresses to three and even one pack per day as they eventually get used to the nicotine and need more of it to get the same buzz. Unfortunately, this means that despite the very harmful effects, people really do have a very hard time quitting, and it's not just because of a lack of willpower. In fact, some of them really can't manage to quit at all. Number 9. It Inspired a TV Series If you ask anyone to name a few things about the 60s, they'd surely think mostly about hippies, great music, and progress. But that's just a part of how people were back then, and the very popular TV series Mad Men does just that. The show follows the professional and personal lives of ad people working in agencies in an age where smoking was the norm. In fact, the very first episode, called Smoke Gets In Your Eyes, centers around Don Draper, a talented creative director who comes up with a brilliant idea to sell cigarettes despite the increasing public awareness of health risks. The show even got real with its viewers when it explored a character's lung cancer diagnosis and subsequent death. Number 10. America Spends Billions of Dollars on Smokers Only Sure, tobacco companies make lots of money, so that might be okay for the economy at least. Well, not so fast. Tobacco consumption is the main cause of preventable deaths, yet in the US, this deadly habit costs around $300 billion. About $170 billion is used for treating smoking-related diseases, and $156 billion represents a loss of productivity in the workplace when people get sick, die, or get exposed to secondhand smoke. Adding in the negative environmental impact, and it's safe to say that, well, companies are the ones who profit, and the healthcare system is scrambling to patch things up. But just as a side note, since some of the finest cigars come from Cuba, make sure to check out our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Cuba, to learn some more about that amazing country. Number 11. New IQOS Controversy and Studies Are Scary It's no wonder that many efforts have been targeted at getting people to quit smoking and turn against the billion-dollar tobacco industry. However, these companies are nothing if not resourceful and have managed to invent a new product that keeps you hooked the e-cigarette. IQOS were designed by Philip Morris, and apparently by heating the tobacco, there are actually less dangerous chemicals ingested by smokers. Well, new studies have shown that they are in fact worse than regular cigarettes, and the company is rumored to have conducted fake trials in order to get approval on the market. However, they are available in 25 countries, and you might even see people using them indoors, since it's claimed they don't produce smoke. Number 12. By 2020, you'll pay more than $10 for a pack of cigarettes in France. Imagine this stereotypical French person, sophisticated, stylish, and a smoker. 
Indeed, France is known for its love of smoking, so much so that around 28% of French adults are smokers. Compared to 17% in the US, it's no wonder that the government is seriously worried about public health. A cigarette pack costs around 8 euros now, or $9.80, which is a pretty steep price, but they're actually aiming to raise it to 10 euro, or around $12 in just two years. This has also angered people, but the cold hard facts are undeniable. Each year, smoking causes 78,000 preventable deaths in France. Number 13. Smoking can influence if you get a job or not. To hire or not to hire smokers. It might seem like this factor shouldn't be a prerequisite on your resume, but at least in New Zealand, new job ads reference non-smokers only or preferred. Although it seems unfair to many of us and people are crying discrimination, it is not against the law to not hire smokers. Companies might even go as far as to outright ban smoking at the workplace, even if it is outside. Plus, employees claim that they have a right to not put up with the side effects of smoking, and even going as far as to say that smokers harm the company's image, especially in their direct relationship with clients. Number 14. In Norway, people snuff tobacco. Another European country that loves tobacco is Norway, but don't expect to see lots of people puffing away. Instead, Norwegians love to get their nicotine fix by using snus, a form of snuff. The sale of this product is illegal in the EU, except for Norway's neighbor, Sweden, which has the rights to manufacture and sell it. Snus come in little tea bag shaped portions and are made of 50% water and 30% tobacco. People put them on their gums, under their upper lip, and keep it for as long as they want. Some snooze lovers use it around 13 to 15 hours a day, essentially their whole awake time. Number 15. Cigarettes have the same composition as urine. What really makes cigarettes so addictive? Well, it turns out that different brands have different ways of keeping you addicted. They actually alter their products to make it faster for smokers to get their fix or to have cigarettes taste differently. One of the chemicals that help to enhance the flavor is urea, a compound that is found in, you guessed it, urine. Other additives are nicotine, tar, carbon monoxide, and arsenic. Do they sound deadly? That's because they are all carcinogenic and toxic, no matter the dosage. And Aluxers, that is a wrap. We know that some of you love smoking and probably some others are very against it. No matter which side of the fence you're on, we're curious to know. Do you think that an increase in cigarette costs is an effective way to reduce consumption? Oh, and since you're still here, we've got one more fact just for you. Number 16. Cigarette smoke can get in breast milk. This might seem like a no-brainer, but actually, many people don't realize the full extent of the risks they are taking when smoking, especially when breastfeeding. Mothers can experience a decrease in milk production, and since it takes seconds for the chemicals to reach many parts of their bodies, their milk is no exception. Harmful side effects for the baby include nausea, restlessness, and can eventually result in death. Unfortunately, 16% of American women don't quit smoking during pregnancy, with devastating consequences, such as sudden infant death syndrome and miscarriages. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.